Secrets Hidden in the Mire. Imagine venturing into the shadowy depths of ancient swamps and bogs, where time seems to stand still and the air is thick with mystery. These murky wetlands, often shrouded in mist and legend, have long been nature's vaults, preserving secrets from epochs past. As we tread carefully through the dense foliage and waterlogged terrain, we uncover tales of creatures that once thrived in these primordial landscapes. Beings so strange and fascinating that their stories blur the line between reality and myth. In this journey, we'll delve into the enigmatic world of five peculiar prehistoric creatures unearthed from swamps and bogs. Each discovery offers a captivating glimpse into the distant past, revealing the rich tapestry of life that once flourished in these wetlands. From colossal amphibians with fanged maws to ancient mammals that coexisted with dinosaurs, these findings not only intrigue the imagination, but also shed light on the evolutionary pathways that have shaped the diversity of life on Earth. Join us as we explore these remarkable creatures, piecing together their stories from the remnants preserved in the peat and mire. Through the lens of history, science, and adventure, we'll traverse time to meet the swamp dwellers of prehistory, uncovering the mysteries they've left behind in the depths of the bog. Five strange prehistoric creatures. Found in swamps and bogs, one. Gyasia genii, the fanged swamp thing of Namibia. Approximately 280 million years ago, during the Permian period, a formidable predator lurked in the swamps and lakes of what is now Namibia. This creature, named Gyasia genii, was a giant amphibian resembling a salamander, but with a fearsome twist. It possessed a large, flat skull over two feet long, equipped with interlocking fangs designed for ambushing prey. Measuring between 8 to 13 feet in length, Gyasia genii was an apex predator in its chilly, swampy ecosystem. Its unique toilet seat-shaped head allowed it to open its mouth wide and create a strong suction, effectively drawing in unsuspecting prey. This ambush strategy is reminiscent of modern-day aquatic predators that rely on stealth and sudden strikes to capture their meals. The discovery of Gyasia genia has provided significant insights into early tetrapod evolution, challenging previous assumptions that such creatures were confined to tropical regions. The presence of this large amphibian in what would have been a cold, swampy environment near the South Pole during the Permian suggests that early land vertebrates were more adaptable to diverse climates than previously thought. For those intrigued by prehistoric life, Namibia's rich fossil sites offer a unique window into Earth's distant past. While the exact location of Gyasia genia's discovery may not be accessible to the public, Namibia's National Earth Science Museum in Windhoek showcases a variety of fossils and exhibits that highlight the country's paleontological heritage. Visitors can explore displays that delve into the ancient ecosystems of the region, providing a deeper understanding of the creatures that once inhabited these primordial landscapes. 2. Heliocala Piscianus, Colorado's ancient swamp dweller. In the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70 to 75 million years ago, a small mammal known as Heliocala Piscianus inhabited the swampy regions of what is now Colorado, USA. About the size of a muskrat, this creature coexisted with dinosaurs, navigating a world dominated by colossal reptiles. The fossilized remains of Heliocola pikeanus, consisting of a partial skull and jawbone, were discovered in the Laramie Formation. This region, once a vast wetland system, preserved a diverse array of plant and animal life, offering a snapshot of an ancient ecosystem teeming with activity. What makes Heliocala piscianus particularly fascinating is its adaptability to a swampy environment. The structure of its teeth suggests a diet of aquatic vegetation and small invertebrates, making it an essential component of its ecosystem. By studying its remains, scientists have gained insights into the interactions between small mammals and their environments during the Cretaceous. 
Today, visitors to Colorado can explore exhibits at institutions like the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, where fossils from the Laramie Formation and other prehistoric sites are on display. These exhibits provide a glimpse into the vibrant life that once thrived in the region's ancient wetlands. 3. Dinosuchus, the terror crocodile of swamps. One of the most fearsome creatures to inhabit prehistoric swamps was Dinosuchus, a colossal crocodilian that lived during the late Cretaceous, around 75 to 82 million years ago. With a length of up to 40 feet and a bite force exceeding that of a T-Rex, Dinosuchus was the apex predator of its wetland domain. Fossils of Dinosuchus have been found in swampy areas across North America, from Texas to Montana. Its immense size and powerful jaws allowed it to prey on a variety of creatures, including dinosaurs that ventured too close to the water's edge. The fossilized remains of its prey often bear the unmistakable puncture marks of Dinosuchus' conical teeth. The study of Dinosuchus has provided valuable insights into the evolution of crocodilians and their role in prehistoric ecosystems. Unlike modern crocodiles, which primarily inhabit tropical and subtropical regions, Dinosuchus thrived in temperate wetlands, showcasing the adaptability of this lineage over millions of years. Visitors to museums like the American Museum of Natural History in New York can marvel at reconstructed skeletons of Dinosuchus, gaining a sense of the sheer scale and power of this ancient predator. These exhibits highlight the intricate balance of swamp ecosystems and the formidable creatures that once dominated them. The giant salamander of China, evolving through time. The discovery of a giant salamander fossil in China's wetlands has shed light on the evolutionary history of amphibians. This prehistoric amphibian, measuring over six feet in length, is a direct ancestor of the modern Chinese giant salamander, Andreas Davidianus, one of the largest amphibians alive today. Fossil evidence indicates that these ancient salamanders inhabited swampy regions during the Jurassic period, approximately 170 million years ago. Their streamlined bodies and powerful limbs suggest a lifestyle adapted to both aquatic and terrestrial environments, making them versatile hunters in their ecosystem. The preservation of these fossils in China's limestone formations has provided a detailed look at the anatomy and behavior of giant salamanders. Researchers have used these findings to understand the resilience of amphibians and their ability to survive drastic environmental changes over millions of years. For travelers interested in paleontology, China's fossil sites offer unparalleled opportunities to explore the country's prehistoric heritage. Museums and natural reserves showcase the incredible biodiversity of the region's ancient wetlands, bringing visitors face to face with creatures that have endured through time. 5. The Bog Bodies – Human and Animal Relics Swamps and bogs are not only home to prehistoric creatures, but also serve as nature's preservation chambers for both human and animal remains. Among the most famous discoveries are the bog bodies of northern Europe, where peat bogs have yielded astonishingly well-preserved human remains dating back thousands of years. These individuals, often victims of ritual sacrifices or violent deaths, provide a haunting glimpse into the lives and cultures of ancient civilizations. The preservation of their skin, hair, and even stomach contents offers unparalleled insights into their diets, health, and societal practices. In addition to human remains, bogs have preserved the remains of extinct animals, such as aurochs and wild boars. These finds help scientists reconstruct the ecosystems and food webs of ancient wetlands, revealing the intricate relationships between predators and prey. Museums across Europe, such as the National Museum of Denmark in Copenhagen, display these bog bodies and associated artifacts, offering visitors a unique perspective on the intersection of human history and natural preservation. The eerie beauty of these exhibits 
serves as a reminder of the powerful forces at work in the natural world. Unveiling the Mysteries of Swamps and Bogs The swamps and bogs of our planet hold secrets that stretch back millions of years, preserving the remnants of creatures and cultures long gone. From the fanged predators of Namibia to the haunting bog bodies of Europe, these wetlands offer a window into the past, connecting us to the lives and landscapes that shaped our world. By studying these prehistoric discoveries, we not only gain a deeper understanding of evolution and ecology, but also develop a profound appreciation for the resilience of life. As we continue to uncover the treasures hidden in the mire, who knows what other wonders await discovery in the depths of the swamp?